Good morning. I'm back today with just not a super long video, but I thought I'd bring you along as I make a recipe out of my bread maker book. It's called, which one is it? Date Nut Bread. And I thought that sounded kind of good, so we're going to give it a go. Oh, it needs orange juice. Um, I have orange juice in the basement. One second. Okay, I found orange juice. It's in the garage, not the basement. Um, three quarters of a cup. The last loaf of bread I made a few days ago was cinnamon raisin bread and it barely lasted 24 hours. Now, I don't know if this one's going to be as successful, but we're going to give it a try. An egg. My aunt got me these eggs at a farm she knows about. Look at the size of that thing. I bet you it's going to be a double yolk. really big one. I would say it's one and a half times the size of a regular egg. Let's see. Melted margarine or butter. I'm just going to use oil. Let's see. Two tablespoons. Oh, that's a little more than two tablespoons. Yes, Maggie. quarters of a cup of sugar. I think this is going to be like the consistency of a banana bread. Now this scoop I have for sugar, which always is in my sugar bucket, is a quarter cup, so I need three of them. Baking powder and baking soda. Dates rolled in coconut. I'm just going to use those. Break them up in pieces. have some meat here defrosting on the counter. I've got ground beef and bacon. I'm going to do um, homemade hamburgers tonight, but bacon, cheeseburgers, whatever. And I think I'm going to do some homemade fries with it as well, because my dad gave me that industrial uh, french fry chopper, and whenever I make it with that, everyone loves it, so I think I'll do that too. I'm just trying to get these broken apart. It says chopped, but they're so soft that as soon as I cut it, it's just gonna smush. So I'm just kind of breaking it apart with my hands. And I'm sure it's 
sure you can hear Maggie running back and forth in the background. She is super curious whenever anyone is going for a walk outside in front of her house. And it's about 10 o'clock in the morning right now and people are going for walks, taking their dogs for a walk and she is just super curious. So she's going between the front door and the back door watching people thinking they're gonna come into the backyard so she can go say hi. So there's like, she just keeps running back and forth, back and forth. get a new ballast to fix the fan. Actually, when we moved in, there was the same fixture in the upstairs hallway and it didn't work. And we had looked into it about two years ago and um, it was either really, really hard to find or it wasn't available at all. So we finally found one, like a ballast, a replacement ballast. And so Earl ordered it, and the supplier canceled the order and returned them without a reason. So we think it just wasn't available. So this time, when this one went, we didn't even bother looking for any ballast because we knew it wasn't available. So we went to the hardware store and we had to get a new, a whole new fixture, like a fan, a light, all in one. So we got that yesterday. So hopefully we'll have light in the second half of the kitchen again soon. goes on the quick bread setting. just under two hours. 